health alert. Memorial Day is Monday, and with the weather authority's forecast for the long weekend, a reminder to pack that sunscreen. But beware of products on the market that may not be all that they claim. As Channel 4's Melanie Lawson tells us, a new report from the Environmental Working Group says, don't believe the hype. Here at Roberts South Bank Pharmacy, they don't even sell a sunscreen that's over 50 SPF. In fact, most of the ones here are way less than that, and there is a reason why. In fact, this new study says that 73% of sunscreens on the market don't work as advertised, or they contain worrisome ingredients. The environmental group tested 900 different sunscreens, and they're hoping this information will help you make better choices. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends choosing a sunscreen that is at least SPF 30. That would block 97% of the UVB rays. Although more research is needed, the group says consumers should look for three things. An SPF between 30 and 50 to protect from UVB rays, zinc oxide and titanium oxide to ward off UVA rays, and no oxybenzone and retinal palmitate. Those could be dangerous chemicals. The key to any sunscreen is to use it and to use it often. So even if you have an SPF of 50 or higher, you still have to reapply every few hours. Researchers found that people who buy that higher SPF just don't apply it as often as necessary because they have a false sense of security. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.